black flies are bad enough to carry you away. There's enough of them. Moose season. Yeah. We're in the right place. Yeah. We're at the right time. Yes. And we have the right guy behind the rifle. I have nothing to say. You've said it all. Okay. Well, then we'll just leave it at that. And I think that we all appreciate that. You haven't typically hunted this time of year. No. Our calls are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And I'll let you do a lot of the calling and I'll stay on the glass. Right. And if yours isn't working, then I'll do some calling. That's part of the game plan, right? You got to be a little versatile sometimes. It doesn't always work. Let's get everybody. Very nice. We're gonna go fishing. Uh, I came prepared to fish lake trout, but it, this looks more like a pike lake, so I've got some bigger lures here and see what happens. Uh. Hey, Dad, your line is it twisted around the, uh, the tip there. You might want to straighten that out. Okay, good. He enjoys fishing so much, we'll see how much he enjoys losing because Whoa. it's a dollar. Is everything gotta be a competition a with A dollar you? for the first fish, a dollar for the most fish, and a dollar for the biggest fish. I will take the disadvantage as to having to control the motor. Don't start whining I'll take before it. we get started. I'll take it. Relax, just operate the boat, I'll catch fish. Exactly. Where's exactly. your net? A good fisherman doesn't need a net. My fish are gonna literally jump in the boat almost. Okay, let's go fishing now that you have all that confidence. Yeah, well, gotta go deeper. I'm surprised that you're sitting here fishing with me. We used to do a lot of fishing together when you were younger, but since you got into hunting, you went full bore on hunting, and fishing's kind of second place, if even that. It's fun. Throw the line in the water, though. Well, it's relaxing. You know, you don't have to worry about and think about a whole lot. And it's like they say, there's one jerk at the end of the line waiting for a jerk at the other end of the line, right? <laughs> it looks uh, really good moose country, eh? You got all the different hills intersecting here and the valleys and chance I already get to see something out here this evening. I hope so. It reminds me more of Ontario, yeah. Northern Ontario yeah. with lily pads. And yeah, come on, baby. The one thing I remember was fishing holidays. I got a lot of Fridays. I didn't go to school. Come to think of it now as, as an adult, that would mean a lot of Fridays you didn't go to work. <laughs> <laughs> the fish aren't doing real great right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised. You is, know, I... is it the fish that aren't doing good or is it us? No, it's the fish. Okay. So, and this is more of a pikey, pikey looking lake. Actually more of a moosey looking lake. Well, let's hope so. We're fishing yeah. for moose. Yeah. That's my priority number one is fishing for moose, well, but, uh, and throwing a line in the water is just fine with me. Yeah. Well, I've seen them come to Chainsaw, so even you're calling, they, they might come around. You never know. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's beautiful here. Absolutely beautiful. Peaceful. We've seen some swans flying around, eh? That's pretty cool. I didn't choose this lake for the fishing. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so let's focus on, on the moose hunting. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, we went out, we... We wet our lines. Wet our lines. And I'm, I'm pleased with that because uh, normally we don't get this opportunity. Tomorrow is uh, it's game time. Game on. No, I'm looking forward to it. When you do get a bull that's just coming in yeah. and grunting his way yeah. in. No, for sure. That's that's kind of like chills just thinking about it. You know, when those big bulls are just moi, moi. Let's spend the rest of the evening enjoying the fire. We've got a yeah. great camp. We do. We haven't had in a lot of years to be able to sleep in with a with a stove in it. No, it's luxury. This is downtown. <laughs> this is awesome. It, it was miserable compared to what we have now. Well, well, yeah. Because no, if it we're... starts raining or snowing, who, who cares? cares? Beautiful country. What more can you ask for, right? There's no competition here. We're in the Yukon. Here we haven't hunted the prime rut in actually a number of years. No, we haven't. I've always been a little bit late. Post, post yeah. rut. We'll see what kind of action we get. This lake in particular is a little bit different than maybe a lot because it seems like the whole shoreline all around the lake has got like 20 yards of grass. There's a lot of area for them to walk through and come out onto the lake yeah. versus being back in the timber. Yeah, this, this is different is... than what we're used to for sure. 
If I'm not correct here, you've actually taken more doll sheep than you have moose in the Yukon. Well, <laughs> and I think your doll you... sheep have scored better than your moose. <laughs> you didn't have to say that. I would be proud of that if I was you. What have you taken to this point? How many? I took two. I'm honest about it. You know what I'm looking for in a moose? The royal moose with all these crowns and all these points. You know what I mean by that? I have an idea. He's going to be like this guy. He's going to come out there just slobbering and drooling and mwah, mwah. You know that guy? Planus, that's who I'm looking for. Planus set. It'll be the first big bull I take. As long as that's that's where the bar is, yep. then that's nope. what we're going to get. It's up here, maybe even higher. Perfect. Well, then we better start looking. We're well, talking. We're at the right place, the right time, and we're into the rut, so let's give her. Okay. We have a chain of lakes in this area. Unfortunately, there is no connection to get the boat through, but there's another good sized lake. It's like 300 yards away. We haven't checked it out at all. Let's take the evening, hike over there. Spend the evening over there? Yeah, and you can call away. Yeah. See what we can pull out of the woodwork. And then kind of last light, we'll get back here before it's too dark and then just yeah. cruise back to camp. That, that makes sense. Let's get yeah. in there, That's get cool. to calling. This is amazing. Like we just worked our way from the other, the main lake where we're camped. We came over, we had to make our way across this uh, two down trees to get across the creek. We looked for quite a ways up and down the creek, couldn't find a spot, so we, we came back to where we thought would be best to cross. Yeah, we're fortunate to find a spot to cross like that. That was the only spot that I, well, you saw it. There's a moose in the water over there right now. You know, it's, it's a special place that you can, especially when you walk into a, a small lake like this and you look across and you see a little black spot on the far side and you get your binoculars out and check it out and you find out that there's six moose over there. There was uh, three smaller bulls, dominant bull, and then two cows with him. So this is uh, fantastic. I thoroughly enjoy it. I mean, you get to work really hard and put in the long days, but when you get to see something like this, it's spectacular. I'm looking forward to obviously harvesting the moose, but when you get to see something like this, it doesn't matter anymore. This is beyond believable, to be honest with you, to see six of them. I've never seen six in my life before. I've seen a couple together. This is a special moment. It's early in the game, right? Yeah. I mean, we don't even have to consider this bowl right now. We're here early and we'll uh, spend some time on the big lake and see what we can pull out. Yeah, yeah. If we have to come back, that's an option. Right. There's moose in the area. <laughs> there's no doubt there's moose in the area. But he's that, obviously the dominant bull. Yeah. This is uh, difficult to say the least, it's really warm. I know we're walking in the sponge and it's not an easy hike, but we're, we're getting close to our destination. <laughs> Keep going. Back on the main lake. Another hour or so before the sun gets down, let's drop behind those mountains. That's a different story too, right? Can't see anything in front of us. No right into the sun. Kind of looking back into these bays, 